Next time you have a drink, stop and ask yourself, that can you hold it, what goes into making it? How did it get to you? And what happens when you're finished with it? At Wrexham, we make the broadest range of sizes in the industry, from small airline cans to great big one litre beer cans. Seven million cans an hour, day in, day out. That's quite a lot of cans, but let's look at just one. Some cans are made from steel, but the majority are made from aluminium. The aluminium can starts life as a raw material, bauxite, one of the Earth's most abundant minerals. The bauxite is mined and then smelted to form alumina, which is then made into ingots. Using largely renewable energy supplies, the ingots are then rolled into aluminium sheet. The aluminium arrives at Wrexham's manufacturing plants in huge coils, each around 10 tonnes and 5 miles in length. The roll is fed continuously into a cupping press, which punches out thousands of shallow cups every minute. The material left over is collected and recycled. From here, the cups pass through the body maker, where the can starts to take on its familiar shape. Each cup is forced at high speed through a series of precision rings, known as dies, each a little smaller than the one before. This process forms the base of the can, it stretches the body and reduces the thickness of the metal. At its midpoint, the can wall is about as thin as a human hair, but still strong and secure. The next stage is the trimmer, where the can is cut to the right height. Again, any leftover material is recycled. The cans pass through special washers to remove any traces of lubricants and are then dried in an oven. From the oven, the can is sent to the printer which can apply up to eight colours at once. This is where it really becomes the can as you know it. The inside is also sprayed with a coating to stop the contents from reacting with the metal. The cans are then given their characteristic neck shape before a final quality control check. They've also been tested and inspected at every stage of production, with any can automatically rejected if it doesn't meet the specification. The cans are then put on pallets and stored, ready for shipping. Every can needs an end. These are made at separate, dedicated plants using a sophisticated process. A coil of aluminium is fed into a press which stamps out 6,000 shells a minute. A special sealant is then added to the shell to enable a perfect seal and another press attaches the ring pull tab. Both the end and the body of our can are now ready to be delivered to our customers for filling. At Wrexham we produce 60 billion cans every year, about a quarter of the world's cans. Now we've seen how the body and the end of our can are made, it's time to look at the second part of the story. First the cans are shipped to the customer for filling. Pallets of cans are stacked on top of each other and travel by lorry or train to the customer's plant. There, our can is filled and sealed with the end to complete the process. Because of the wide opening, cans are quick and efficient to fill, with around 2,000 filled and sealed every minute. Lightweight, convenient and durable, each can's now ready to go out into the world to supermarkets, convenience stores and other retail outlets. The shape of the can lends itself perfectly to 360 degree branding, giving brands the best visual impact on the shelf and making a promise of quality and refreshment to the consumer. And because it's strong and chills faster than other packaging, the can delivers on this promise. It's perfect for people on the go, quenching thirst any time of the day and wherever you happen to be. And it has its own unmistakable sound when it's opened. But that's not the end of the story. From the recycling bin, the can starts a new life. Once collected, cans are baled and sent to a recycling plant, where they're washed, shredded and remelted at 750 degrees centigrade. The molten aluminium is poured into moulds and cooled to form ingots. Each ingot contains around 1.5 million recycled drinks cans. And now we're back where we started. The ingot can be turned into anything. From a window frame, 
to a part in your car. Or even another roll of aluminium to make cans. Aluminium is infinitely recyclable and is as good as new each time. Recycling a can saves up to 95% of the energy it takes to make one from virgin metal. So it really makes sense to use and reuse them. This can of ours is one of the most recycled objects on the planet and now it's come full circle. You can understand why at Wrexham we're proud of each and every one.